Good morning, everyone. This feels, oh, I look a bit of a mess. This feels so strange to actually be back talking to you again because I feel like it's been ages. It's literally been about four days, but because I was filming every single day, it just became part of the routine. And so to be back, it's like, oh, this is nice. So I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. We've got some distractions going on on the table. I'm obviously in the dining room again. I don't even know where to begin. Like I say, I hope you had a great Christmas. Obviously, clearly, I've not long woken up. I've done a little bit on social media. I always do that, actually. Before I do other things, I do some things um, for work. Anyway, we're down here. I have my coffee. I've got my Harrods mug today. Um, but yeah, I just thought we could have a little chat about Christmas. And I can tell you what I got up to and show you a few bits, tell you what I got, and um, yeah, we can have a chat. And also I've got something exciting to show you as well. I'm gonna try and remember <laughs> what I got for Christmas, but what I will do as well, I'm sure I'll forget some bits and pieces, but I'm going to do like a little clip. What I'll do is collect everything, gather it all up, and I will do a quick video of it so I can include it in this video so you can actually see what I'm talking about. And I will leave links as well. I I'll be able to, I know where most of it's from, um, and then I'll look into the other bits that I'm not sure, and I will put links below, because that always happens. We always like to know where people got things from. So anyway, let's go back a little bit. Uh, I left you on, was it Christmas Eve or the day before? The day before Christmas Eve, I left you on the 23rd, and on Christmas Eve, we actually traveled to my in-laws and that's why another reason I didn't want to film on Christmas Eve I could have filmed in the morning before we left but it was just too much going on and I just wanted the morning to just get everything organized so I actually got this robe now on camera it just it looks a bit odd actually it's the lighting because the lights there shining down on it is creating the shadows and it makes it look almost like I don't know like a tiger print or something it's not it's, I don't know, it looks different. It looks like there's lots of, it's basically got this really soft material, but the camera, the lighting and everything, is just making it look really harsh, but it's actually not, you can't really see the lines that much in reality. I'll add it to the video clip so you can see what it normally looks like. It is so soft. I love a good dressing gown. So my husband picked out this one for me. Um, it's like this gray and even on camera it looks a bit brown. It looks a bit taupe. It's not at all. It's just gray So I don't know what's going on with the lighting. It's a very warm light So I think that's why it's brought out some brown or something. But anyway, it's a beautiful gray and it is so soft It also has a hood Which I was thinking would I ever use the hood? But actually when I go out to the garden like in a minute if I go and put some recycling out boxes everywhere as always for Christmas, I can put my hood up, so it's perfect. It's really long as well, which I love, and it's just so, so soft. So I got that for Christmas. I also got these pyjamas. Oh, do you know what? I love, this is my favorite style pyjamas, which is why my husband bought them for me, but I wouldn't normally wear this material. Let me take my robe off and you can see. So here's the PJs. Now, as you can see, it's like this velvet material. I have these pajamas already, but they're not velvet. So this is what I typically wear. I have it navy, I have navy with the white piping. I have the black with the white piping. I have some gray ones with white piping with the little white stars on. This is what I always wear. This is like my preferred um, bed clothing. I absolutely love it. So my husband, did that correctly but I've never had like velvet pajamas before and I must admit I thought oh okay velvet new one for me honestly they are the most coziest warmest most comfortable pajamas I've ever had in my life they are so cozy so I definitely would would buy them again in a different color I it's not me it's not me like wearing crushed velvet clothing is not me I know it's only pajamas but like I said, I wouldn't normally pick these if I saw them. I'd pick the kind of plain with like a cotton or something, but they're so cozy. I would definitely order some more. Um, and obviously I've got the trousers on as well, but I actually love these. I think they are gorgeous. Um, so what else did I get? I got a phone. So that was my main present from my husband. I got a brand new iPhone, um, Pro Max something. <laughs> I'm, you know, you guys know I'm terrible with technology and with basically everything, gadget related, technology related, most things. 
Um, so yeah, I don't really know much about the phone, but what I do know is it's much better than my other one. So I was very, very grateful for that. I'm not somebody who goes and buys technology. I just, I've said this before, if it wasn't for my husband, we'd have an old fashioned TV. <laughs> I'm just not good with it. He's definitely the gadget man and he knows all the new things and all of that. So, uh, yes. So I'm very chuffed with my new phone. I didn't know I was getting a new phone, so I was very grateful for that. Screen is much bigger as well. I mean, it's only slightly bigger, but it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, nice big screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I got that. I got candles. Uh, I got quite a few candles actually. I love candles and everybody knows that. So my husband, and I will show you in a second, bought me an imperial candle and they are my absolute favorite because they are the candles. First of all, the quality of the candle is beautiful. It looks beautiful, but also the smell is so strong. It fills the whole house. They have so many. Um, I was supposed to put it on the table, I forgot. Uh, I will get it but they have so many and I'll leave the link as well. They're so gorgeous. I highly recommend anybody who loves candles, but also jewelry because you get jewelry in the candles. I've mentioned them here before and I've shown you on my channel before, so you might remember, but they're beautiful. I've got some really lovely jewelry from this brand, from this candle brand. It's not, you might think, oh, it won't be very good if it's just shoved in a candle. It's lovely jewelry. It's all sterling silver um, or um, gold plated. It's lovely, lovely jewelry really really lovely and like i said the candles are beautiful as well so i'm excited to see what jewelry i get i haven't actually lit it yet um i'll get to boxing day in, in a minute but yeah i haven't lit it yet uh, so yeah that was beautiful and then i got some more big jar candles from my children i've got three children uh my eldest child i've got two teenagers believe it or not i know i look too young i'm joking it's because everybody says it no one believes me but i do have two teenage children and my eldest, he said he ordered it online. He got me a beautiful box of handmade uh, bath bombs. Really, I love that. It's funny because Glenn usually gets me that every year and he didn't this year. So I thought, oh, I didn't get it because he got his mum some. And I was like, oh, I didn't get any. My eldest son got me some. So I still got them beautiful, beautiful handmade um, bath bombs. I love them. So he got me that. My middle son another teenager he got me he popped into town uh which i thought was really sweet and bought me a reed diffuser love them as well and a jar candle a big jar candle so i've got the reed diffuser in the guest bathroom and i've got the candle i lit the candle yesterday for boxing day and um, that's a coconut flavor or scent beautiful uh and he got me some little bits like ch chocolate little treat things and then my daughter, uh, Glenn, took her into town and she picked some bits and she got me a calendar, a wall calendar, uh, very similar to the one I showed you, um, where you can, you've got the whiteboard and you can write things on there and then it's got the calendar underneath. She got me that, so that's going in, I've put it in my office now, uh, which was perfect. And then she also got me another jar candle, so I had another big jar candle. So when I have a nice relaxing bath, I can light that one, that's like a fresh, it's a fresh scented one. It's like a grassy one or something. It's like a green one. So I thought that would be nice for the bathroom. Very kind of, you know, relaxing. So what else did I get? I got, oh yes, I got a lovely, beautiful black, like faux fur coat jacket type thing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My daughter has like a gray one. And every time she wears it, I'm like, oh, I would love that coat. It just looks so cozy when we went on our Christmas lights trail and ice skating she had her lovely faux fur coat on and she looks so snug and warm and it looks so lovely and I was saying I'm so jealous of your jacket I'm gonna I'm gonna magic it bigger so that I can wear it so obviously my husband heard that and I mean it was literally last week I said it so I was really surprised when I opened it up I was like I've only just said that I love these coats so he bought me a black one it's beautiful it's very thick it's it's thick but it's not too thick I don't like I only like a certain style faux fur coat. Some of them, a lot of them I actually don't like because they're a, bit, a little bit too much for me. So it's nothing crazy. It's not huge. Um, and you know, some of these faux fur coats, I mean, they look lovely on the people, but I couldn't wear them. They're just too much. But this one is, is a little bit more subtle, but it's still faux fur and it's black and it's gorgeous. I wore it last night. I popped around the shop and um, it was lovely. It's so lovely. It's just cozy and warm and stylish. I love it. So I got that. 
I got some new slippers. They're on my feet. So there we go. I love these. Now before I had some very similar, but they had a closed toe. But what I found was they're a little bit loose around the feet. You know when your slippers don't quite fit, they're a little bit too big. You end up like slopping around the house. And I'm always nervous to wear them up and down the stairs because I feel like they're a trip hazard because they're not quite fitted to my feet properly. So sometimes I just leave them at the bottom of the stairs if I'm just running up to get something. And then I just get them when I come back down because I'm like, I'm gonna trip and fall. But these ones, they fit like a glove. They, they will not fall off. So I can run around the house in them and they're perfect. So they're gorgeous and they're very soft as well. Really, really soft. So I love them. I also got my big tray every year. I get a big tray of Ferrero Rocher, my absolute favorites always get that most of them are gone but i can add it to the little clip but yeah not many left but that's because i was sharing them out with the in-laws and the children and everything on christmas day um but there's still some left which is a miracle really because christmas was a couple of days ago now uh but yes yeah, so i got those what else did i get oh i got a lovely big really big about this big um i think it's a heart shape sanctuary gift set there's so much in there again i will add it to the clip but there's pillow mist there's body lotion hand lotion foot lotion uh body scrub face wash there's one of those little body washer things what are they even called yeah but there's one of those in there uh what else is in there there's loads uh shower oil there's loads in there i think there's is there a bubble bath but there's loads there's there's so much in there it's packed there's absolutely loads and Glenn actually got one for his mum and he showed me it and I said oh yeah that's a really nice gift you'll really like that and on Christmas morning we were kind of taking it in turns I don't like when everyone's just ripping open the paper we've always done this where when someone's opening a present we all watch what you know we watch their reaction we want to see what they've got um, we don't just kind of rip the paper off and we're all doing our own thing so we did the same thing at the in-laws house so every time someone opened a present we all sat and watched waited for them to open it had a look and then we move on to the next person so it actually took ages it felt like they, we were there all morning opening presents but i think it's a really nice way to do it instead of just carnage you know and not paying attention what people have, to what people have got and things so she opened hers first and um i said oh yeah that's lovely guess what the next present i pulled i had a santa sack the next present i pulled out was the same thing and i could tell straight away because i saw the shape of it it's a heart and um I said, oh, you got me one as well. So I was really um, chuffed with that because when he showed me, I did think it was a lovely a lovely set. So, um, so I was very pleased with that. What else did I get? I'm trying to think. I got loads, honestly. Um, I'll probably forget. I can't remember any at the moment. Okay, we'll leave it there. And if I remember some more, I can add it in. But like I said, I'm gonna put everything together and I know there were more things. I feel bad because I've forgotten. But anyway, sign of a good Christmas because you get so much you can't remember what you got. But yeah, so yesterday, Boxing Day, I popped into M&S and they had this. And I thought, oh, that's beautiful. It's obviously a gingerbread house, but it's a tin. Now, let me do this. So beautiful. Okay, that's enough. I only twisted it like the tiniest amount, please. Oh my gosh, oh, it stopped. Okay, you can twist it. It plays for ages if you twist it properly. But anyway, how beautiful is this? It honestly, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it is so, it's all raised, like the whole pattern. It's so beautiful. Look at the roof. It's got snowflakes on the roof. It's so detailed. The windows, the snowflake. You've got the um, wreath. Christmas tree, it's so, so beautiful. Anyway, I thought, oh, a gingerbread house. Obviously, it's not one we can make, but I thought this, we could put on the table, we could play the music, and then inside, you've got, there's two of these, two packets, and you've got all the gingerbread biscuits, gingerbread men and everything inside. Obviously, we haven't actually opened it yet, but I just thought that was genius. I thought, this is perfect, because I still get a gingerbread house. It's slightly different to what we normally do, I still get a gingerbread house on the dining table as we do every year and then my sons still get to eat the gingerbread which is all they care about and I still get something pretty to look at on the table so it was like 
I was really happy with that. And it was half price because it was Boxing Day. Um, so that was another great thing as well. So I was really pleased with that. So we had this on display on the table. Um, I'm going to include a picture of the table. I'm going to do a blog post as well. So obviously I took so many uh, pictures over Christmas and I will do a blog post uh, so you can see like the dining room, how it was all decorated and everything, because I realized I never did like a dining room Christmas tour kind of thing. Um, I was supposed to, but I forgot to be honest. But I will include a picture of how all the Christmas table was decorated and everything yesterday. So that's what we did. We stayed until Boxing Day, we stayed two nights. I forgot to take these, I forgot to take them. And um, that was annoying. And I didn't take my shake either. So yesterday, I didn't eat as much yesterday as Christmas Day, but I felt really bloated last night when I went to bed. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm looking forward today to getting back on the shakes. When I came back, literally the first thing I did when I walked in the kitchen was had my gummies because I hadn't had them for a few days and I really missed them. So in a couple of hours, I will be on my shake. I've really missed it. I haven't had it for a few days. Now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to, I'm very excited about this. Remember when I told you my brand was launching a new product and I said it wasn't skincare. I said, oh, it'll be here in a couple of weeks. I was joking. I was told a month. I was just being like very keen, like, oh, hopefully it's a couple of weeks. I thought it would be a month. I was told it'd be up to a month. Guess what arrived before we'd even left <laughs> to go away for Christmas. It literally took less than two weeks. I was in shock when it arrived my new makeup so here we are introducing natasha beauty makeup the skincare you may remember usually says natasha beauty um organic luxury but i wanted to change it to makeup for the makeup line so you can like see the difference um but this is makeup and this arrived the other day i took it i was really chuffed because it meant that i could wear it on christmas day and everything but here it is it is a palette I don't know if you can see, it's got some little iridescent around the edge. Just got the classic logo, which is slightly raised. It's printed onto the card, but it's slightly raised. So it's, there's no plastic on here as well. I don't like plastic makeup um, components. I like the cardboard ones. They're just far more environmentally friendly. And it has a sleeve. You guys know I don't like excess packaging. So I thought the sleeve was like, it's packaging, but it's not too much. So we have the sleeve with the back, we've got the little logos, we've got the, the bunny, it's all cruelty free, same as the skincare, ingredients, front and back. And then here is the palette. By the way, oh, I was so gutted, I don't know if you can see, I marked it because I traveled with it, shoved it in my bag, I'd marked it. So I'm very annoyed about that. But the palette itself is fine, I think. So we've got this, front and back. So let's show you, are you ready for this? So previously we just had skincare. We had the uh, multivitamin serum, the hydrating mist and the enzyme moisturizer. And at this moment in time that I'm filming this, it's not live yet, it's actually not ready. I didn't want to put it out over Christmas, obviously I had far too much going on and I wanted to come home and focus on it Monday, which is today. So at this moment in time, it is not live yet, but it is dropping today. So by the time you watch this video, this will be out if you're interested. It's worldwide shipping as always, and it's free worldwide shipping. We started with free worldwide shipping. Then we switched to charging for shipping, but very low. But we've gone back to free worldwide shipping again. So I'm sure we'll be very, very happy about that. Um, it comes in the same packaging that the skincare comes in, but yeah, it's gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It's such nice quality. I don't know if you can see, but it's just, it's lovely. It's lovely quality. Really, really lovely. The same simple kind of logo and branding. I wanted to keep everything kind of clean looking, not too fussy, but look at it. It's just gorgeous. Like I said, head on over to the website, head on over to the Instagram. There's plenty more pictures, swatches, videos, so you can actually see it. And obviously I'm not wearing it yet, um, but yes, 
I did wear it over Christmas. It's so gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, if you follow the Instagram, you'll be able to see everything on there and um, see some looks with it and things like that. So anyway, that'll do for now. Keep a lookout for that little video of all my gifts. And I will also show you the candle because it's so beautiful with the jewelry in. So I just went and got the candle quickly. It was only in the living room, but um, this one is called Purple Obsession. So this is the Imperial Candles candle. Like I said, you may remember me. I've kind of reviewed them before and I abs they're my favorite candle company. I like Yankee candles. I, I like the big jar candles. Um, I think they're nice quality. Um, they tend to go uh, quite black inside. I don't know if it's just mine, I'm sure it's not, but they look quite messy after a while, which I'm not a fan of. And then they're kind of sat there and they don't look very nice. What I love about this, is that because you've got the label and the design up to the top, you can't see any mess or if the candle, like this, you wouldn't know if this was an empty candle, a full candle halfway down. So it just always looks beautiful sat on the side. You've got the lid. I only ever, um, I do have some other candles, but I try to only buy jar candles with lids um, because I find they can get dusty and things like that. I like to just pop the lid on when I'm not using it. It is so, so beautiful. There's the double wick, so it burns evenly. Like you get everything burnt. There's no, nothing left around the edges. And then in here, usually about here, it's not too far down. It's kind of the first third or first quarter of the candle. There will be a beautiful um, piece of jewelry. So I'm going to light it today. Yesterday for Boxing Day for our little Christmas meal that I did, um, I wanted to light the candles that my children got me. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd wait till today to start on this one, but the scent literally fills the home. If you, if you love candles and you also love jewelry, you've got to get these for yourself. If you know somebody else that loves candles and jewelry, they make the most beautiful, honestly, the most beautiful gifts. Like I cannot rave about this brand enough. They are so, so good and they, they do everything. There's so many different designs. You can get ones that say mum on, they say all different things. You can get uh, zodiac, you know, star signs. Um, you can get gemstones, obviously colors. You can get ones that are themed for Christmas, for Easter. Ones that say happy birthday. Like honestly, there's so many on there. Um, oh, I also got, I completely forgot. They do bath bombs and I've never tried the bath bombs, but my husband also got me a giant bath bomb. Again, I'll add it to the little video. Um, but yes, I completely forgot. I got a bath bomb. That's got jewelry in it as well. They do wax melts. Um, they started with just candles. So that's when I learned about this brand when they just had the candles, but they do some extra things now. So yes, I can show you the, actually I could show you the bath bomb. You might even get to see the jewelry from the bath bomb in this video because I was going to have a bath today. Depends when I have it. Anyway, sometime soon, you'll be able to see the jewelry from this candle and also the bath bomb. But honestly, the jewelry that I have from this brand of candles, it's so beautiful. I was explaining to my mother-in-law because she hadn't heard of them. Um, I was saying it's fine jewelry. This not like cheap, you know, like costume jewelry where it just looks cheap and nasty. Like it's genuinely beautiful, dainty pieces, which is what I like. It's just honestly lovely. I cannot rave about them enough. So I will light it when the jewelry arrives from the candle and the bath bomb, I will share it with you, but it's so beautiful. And what I will do as well, I will quickly show you um, the other jewelry pieces that I have from the candles because it's beautiful. I also got, so I just walked off and then I saw this glass. I was about to wash up and I remembered. So it's wet because I've just cleaned it, but I've got this beautiful glass from my mother-in-law. It's so pretty. I've seen these actually, and I've always thought they're beautiful. It's got the bees on. It was in a beautiful gift box as well. Um, it's got the bees on it. And then all these beautiful flowers. It's so pretty. So I use this and it's really delicate glass actually. It's like really thin. Um, so yes, it's, it's very delicate, but it's beautiful. And I actually had it yesterday with my Christmas dinner. It's beautiful, so that's another thing. 